Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and I think one of the coolest things that is coming to Windows for those that download files all the time and they have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, PD, zip files and so on. Um, of course, there are several types of archives. So for those that don't know what a zip file is, it's simply a compressed archive often used not necessarily just for the compression that it gives so the files are smaller, but also because sometimes you want to send multiple files together. But instead of you know having all the files one by one, you just put them all in a folder and zip the folder so that you know it's an easy one file transfer that you actually uh, uncompress. So Windows uh, 10, Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11 have zip capabilities. So for example here, I've got a zipped file. If I double click on it, you'll see the content. You can also extract it to have the content. But it happens often that you can have compressed files that are of another format. And some of the very popular formats are RAR. Another one is 7-zip. Um, and these are not compatible with the standard zip, so Windows cannot open them without you downloading a file. And what's really cool about it is that this might become the standard in 23H2 uh, for multiple formats. Uh, somebody was actually asking um, if you know it would be cool to have also the um, compression capabilities for uh, Linux formats. And what I understand is that this is the start of adding a lot of different um, file formats for being able to decompress uh, archives, which means that it might be even more than what they announced uh, because they're in the uh, blog post, they do say more, which means what they showed us plus probably some other formats are going to be included in here. This is nice because it prevents us from, and that is, I think, for security reasons, also a great idea. It prevents people from downloading uh, software that sometimes they just don't know where to get, and they start searching for it. And when you search for, you know, a program to do something, uh, and unless you're really careful and know what you're doing, it could easily turn into a disaster because you might be downloading the wrong thing that will bring adware, malware, and so on. So uh, this is definitely good news, and I think this is going to be probably one of the highlights of 23H2, being able to uh, you know decompress and to open archives of much more uh, different formats than just zip. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.